the show, everybody. Joining me in the studio, Pat Holden, writer for Brooks Like Here, Russian Machine Never Breaks, Hockey Prospectus. He's been featured on WashingtonBoast.com and ESPN. All of this is true in real life, even though we'll be talking about a virtual hockey team. The Baltimore Blue Crabs off to a 5-0-1 start. Pretty amazing. Second-year team. They opened up the season with a 4 nothing win on the road in Columbus. Bob facing his former team. What a story. And, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at uh, their second game of the year. Here we go. Bob in net for the Crabs. First period. Opening face-off. Caps in their screaming Eagle jerseys. Hope you're in your seats early for this one because the Caps came out crashing the net right away. Here's Ovechkin now with the puck along the boards. He'll find TJ Oshie in the slot, a shot, and then Ovechkin knocks the rebound in out of midair, puts the caps up 1-0 just over 30 seconds into this one. Down the other end now, Crabs with the puck. Just under five minutes to go. Caps struggling to clear the zone. Orlov with a bad pass, picked off by Anisimov. He feeds it to Kalorn, and this game is tied at one. Braden Holpe now with a bad decision. Feeds it right to Faust, who puts that in, and it's a 2-1 Crabs lead. Caps now on the power play, but time running out. Ovechkin with the puck. He gets it to Backstrom as power play time expires. He has way too much room there and ties this game at two. Watch this puck. It doesn't quite make it out of the zone. This will come back to get the Crabs. Lars Eller in the corner. He takes it out front himself, puts that past Bob, and the Caps lead 3-2. We'll go back down the other end again now. Crabs on the power play again. Faust feeds it to Boucher in front, and this game is tied at three. Crabs now not on the power play here, but working the puck around as if they are. Juice gets it over to Komarov, and he puts it in to give the Crabs a 4-3 lead. Alex Kalorn headed up the ice, and old teammate Justin Braun comes over, says hello with a crushing check in the neutral zone. Kalorn adjusting his neck after that one. Crabs now, power play again. Puck comes out to Justin Williams, and he rips that in to give Baltimore a 5-3 lead. And then finally, about a minute to go, empty net goal there for Faust, his second goal of the game. Elway the Colt is happy. The fans are happy. A 6-3 Crabs win. All right, so big win for the Crabs in front of their home fans. Now, let's break it down a little bit. Pat, really interested in getting your uh, insight here, um, especially yeah, as somebody who's covered the Caps for a while. Um, what do you want to start with? You want to start with that Ovechkin goal that kind of got uh, got the maybe the Caps fans pumped right off the bat? Yeah, let's 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 look at that. And uh, you know, the Caps came out looking good. And Ovechkin with a uh, you know a vintage, not vintage, but you know, typical highlight reel goal. Let's take a look at that. All right. All right. So yeah, the Caps just got possession here right off the draw and came down and I mean <laughs> storming the net. And then watch this move by Ovechkin is awesome. Yeah. Yep. Right and then to Oshie. Back it out of midair. We'll have to see it again on replay so everybody can catch it. But yeah, we'll uh, what I was really excited about when I was watching this game live is right uh, right here. Peter Hassett was at the game there, standing on top of his chair. Oh, I didn't even yeah, recognize yeah. him. He yeah. was pumped. He was pumped. Yeah. So, but here it is. So Ovechkin makes the great move, the centering pass, and then bats the rebound out of midair. And the blue crabs are just like, man, nothing, nothing we can do. Nate Schmidt was out OV, there. Um, good to see OV get his first there. That was the third game of the season for the Caps. I think uh, oh, fans wow. were a little nervous. But when he did finally score it, I mean it was worth the wait. Yep. Got to the dirty areas, made his own luck. He did. Let, let's take a look at um, one of the Crabs goals we're going to break down next. This was um, one of many where uh, the Caps just couldn't get it done in their own end. Yeah, there. Yeah, you'll see once the Crabs get it down in the zone here, the uh, the Caps just failed breakouts, which you'll see in a couple goals where the, the Crabs forecheck just forced them into bad turnovers. So get in the zone here, and then it goes behind the net, and the Caps, well... Still got the puck. Still got the puck here. Crabs just dominating. But then the Caps get the puck and they dump it around. And there's too much pressure, so they dump it back around and then and then they just center it to nobody. Yep, center and to nobody. Was, and then Nosey was, was happy, right? Take that pass. 
yeah, yeah. With, on a on a feed from Anisimov who made a, a nice intercept there when the yeah. Cavs couldn't get it done. And you, and you saw that repeatedly throughout the game where the Crabs forecheck just left the Caps bottled up in their own zone. Um, you know, the, you you would think you would think they would maybe you know it's a regular season game, so maybe the coaching adjustments aren't as fast as in like a playoff series. But the Crabs definitely seemed like they had scouted scouted pretty well and had a plan for the uh, the forecheck. Yeah, and some of these it seemed like it was just a matter of time until the Crabs were going to put the puck in the back of the net because the the pressure in the zone just the Caps didn't seem like they could keep up. Yeah, I mean they've been they've been saying maybe this Caps core is past their prime. Uh, you know, I don't know about that, but they they kind of looked like it at times against the uh, the Crabs here. They were back in the finals again last season. So, as you know, they won their Stanley Cup. And then the Crabs were an expansion team. And in the Crabs' first season, the Crabs did not make the playoffs. The Caps, of course, did. And then made it all the way to the finals and lost in seven games to the Ducks. Yeah. So. And um, we'll see what the Caps do this year. They've got a young, young set of defensemen back there. They've got, um, on you know, their top pairing is Orlov and Justin Braun, who came over in a trade. We're going to get to him later. Came over from uh, the Crabs right. at the trade deadline. And then um, they still have Matt Niskanen, and then they have three young dudes back there. They've got um, Johansson, um, Hobbs. Lucas? Yes. Okay. And they've got uh, – Connor Hobbs. What's that? Connor Hobbs and Madison Bowie, right? Exactly. Bowie, Hobbs, and Johansson make up, uh, you know, a young set of three defensemen back there, along with Niskanen, Braun, and Orlov. And in, As you in know, John county, Carlson moved on when he was right. he was not re-signed by the Caps. He's now playing in Toronto. Right, right, right. Right. So the Caps then invested a lot of that money into offense. So they got guys like, guys like um, Bozak and um, – a couple other guys you might see in some of these clips, mostly probably not doing their job against Baltimore. Right. You might so, see them pinned in their own zone here in some clips coming up. Let's get into another one. So this is it's a 3-3 game here, right? Cat, crabs yep. won the draw. Man, look at this guy. Just say, Where's the defense? Doing whatever he wants in there. Yeah. This guy, another walking right down the slide. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, Hopi has to be furious at this point. Yeah, he's standing on his head. All right, they're keeping – there it is. And then just across uh, – I mean, across the seam in the offensive zone from the point to, like, the top of the circles, and nobody was even interested in being in that lane. Yep, and there's Juice, a big uh, off-season acquisition at the last minute for the Caps, right after the uh, Bobrovsky signing. For the Crabs, August. right? Yeah. What's that? For the Crabs, right? For the Crabs. Um, yeah. So the Crabs offer-sheeted him. The caps didn't match, I think, because they were basically out of cap space. And so brought him in, and he ended up having four assists in this game against his former club. So <laughs> that's awesome. Showed him up for not matching the offer sheet. And Good then there's one more you want to break down for us, right? This one actually reminded you of an earlier goal where, once again, caps. Same, same old struggling. thing. They, caps pinned in. Well, first we're going to take to the net again, and nobody's going to do anything. But Pinned in, and they dump it around to try to get out. Nope, nothing there. Dump it around again. Dump it around again. <laughs> and the Crabs eventually just pick it off. And now the firing range is on. We're just going <laughs> to, like, we're just going to unload on Holpe from the center of the ice, like, just above the hash marks. Was yep. that Justin Williams on that it, goal? It was Justin Williams, former yeah. Washington Capitol and then a member of the Carolina Hurricanes, who now has signed a two-year deal with Baltimore. And, um... He's really one of the uh, one of the veterans who's come in, and I really think it's one of the big reasons, along with their elite goaltender Bob, that this <laughs> team is off to a five zero and one start, and that here we are, really early in the season, we're talking playoffs in Baltimore. Yeah, absolutely, it's talking playoffs. So, I mean, mostly that's I'm talking about it mostly, um, and I think a lot of the fans are too. Um, exciting times. I mean, we'll see if they can hold it together. Bob has to stay healthy. If Bob stays healthy, anything's possible. This team keeps forechecking like this, putting pucks in at the right times, and then just shuts down the opposition. Yeah. I don't know how many games, though, Bob can make 37, 39 saves a night. He's a busy uh, we'll, man. We'll find out. 
we will find out all season and we'll be talking about it here on this week in blue crabs uh i want to thank you for joining me on the show pat it's been great it was, having you in it was here an honor it was an honor yeah uh, anything else you want to touch on before we sign off here in episode one um no you know just in general i think you know the blue crabs are exciting to watch this year the bob is you know his best goal in the league last year and now they've got him in baltimore you know, and I think that first line, Alex Killorn and, and the rest of the first line, is gonna, they're going to keep putting pucks in the net. And any team with with Nate Schmidt and Kristen Juice on it, I'm, I'm going to be watching and excited to watch. So should be good season. Good to know. And then we'll have to get into it some other time if I can catch up with you again on the show. Um, you know, Bob's only here on a one-year deal right now. So if this continues, two things really. One, as, as this continues, it gets, you know, Sounds sounds even better to have him back, maybe long term, but probably gets even harder to sign him. So, right. you know, when does he get inked to a long term deal in Baltimore, or is he just here for a little while? And I don't know what. There are a bunch of elite goaltenders available in the off season, including uh, Holtby and uh, Vasilevsky. Uh, I think uh, Pekarine might even be in there. So uh, we'll see if Bob isn't back. Maybe somebody else in here, elite. But first, we've got a cup to win in Baltimore, so I don't even want to talk right. about that yet. First and foremost, yeah. Yeah, it was great catching up. Always good to have you on the show. Even though this was the first one, if we'd had previous shows, it would have been good to have you. It's, um, it's always great to be here, yeah. All right. Well, hey, Pat, thanks again, and uh, go Crabs. All right, go Crabs.